I think you went on, yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our class tonight. Tonight, we're going to be telling you about Young Living CBD products, what CBD is, and how it can help. We're telling you about Young Living CBD products, what CBD is, and how it can help. We're telling you about Young Living okay. CBD products, what CBD is, and how it can help. Someday I'll figure out how to get that not to do that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to turn it over to Erica, and she's going to start off just explaining the whole system to us and why CBD oils can benefit your body. All right, so we were already talking before the class. Some of you guys are already using CBD. You're noticing different benefits. You're using it in different ways. So I'm going to go into some of the technical things, like what is CBD? Is it the same as marijuana? Like all the questions that you may have, maybe you're hesitant, you're kind of nervous and it's okay if you, if you have questions at the end, we're gonna answer them. So I'm gonna go through some of the technical, maybe not so fun stuff, okay? So the first thing I wanna get into, people wanna know if it's the same as marijuana. Is hemp and marijuana, is that the same thing? So they're both, um, they're like in the same plant family, but they are grown differently. So marijuana is by design, okay? She's a female plant. So what happens is both male and female plants are allowed to go grow together until a certain point. Then they, what the, the farmers do, they go in and they take out all of the males. Now the marijuana plant, she's a girl. She wants to attract a mate. And so what she does is she starts putting out THC. Now that is a psychoactive component. That's the component that will make you high. That's normal. It's going to do a small amount. But what happens in marijuana's case, because there's no men around, she pumps out a lot of this stuff in hopes of getting a man because she wants to make a seed baby. It doesn't happen. So she produces a, a crazy amount of THC, okay? Hemp is completely different. Male and female, they grow together always. She does put out a little bit of THC. Keep that in mind. That's going to come up later in our discussion as to why you want Young Living. So remember that she will put out a little bit of THC. Um, but then she's already, she got her man. She's married. She gets to see baby. She's happy. It's done. It's over with. So they, they are different. So CBD stands for cannabidiol. And it's one of the primary like natural uh, cannabinoids found in the hemp plant. In fact, there's like 113 plus chemical compounds within that plant. They all have different properties and so forth. So see, what CBD does is when it gets into the body, it binds to the endocannabinoid system. You have receptors throughout your whole entire body, which is really interesting. You were made for this compound. It's kind of interesting. It's throughout your whole body. What does that system regulate? I'm talking about the endocannabinoid system. What does that regulate? It regulates um, things in the body such as appetite, pain, mood, memory, peripheral nervous system, um, and a few other things, uh, sleep, things like that. So CBD can bind to that receptor and, uh, and affect that system. So we talk about receptors, it's like a, it's like a little, like a lock in the key. CBD is the right key, it unlocks something. It's the only thing that can unlock the receptor. It's, it's pretty cool. And so according to the World Health Organization, this is back in 2018, they said it's, it's well tolerated by most people. So uh, if anyone's going to diss this substance, it's gonna be this agency. And they're saying, hey, it's actually caffeine's worse for you than this. So it has a very good safety profile if you're concerned about that. Okay, so again, um, now we're gonna break down a couple other things. We're gonna talk about when you go to the store, you see full spectrum, you see broad spectrum, and then you see a CBD isolate. So we're gonna get into that and what it means, okay? So full spectrum, if you go to the store, it's all the phytocannabinoids, the terpenes, and THC. Okay, I'm just gonna clarify this, I have to say this. The THC that comes in your CBD product, it will not make you high. It's not, it's like a big glass of water with a drop of alcohol. It's not going to do anything, but here's the thing. If you are in, if you're in the military, if you're a truck driver, um, if you work anywhere that they do regular like drug tests, you will fail the drug test if you are taking a full spectrum product. Okay. So just know that they don't tell you that at the store, but that's, what's going to happen. Okay. So if that's a concern for you, you're not going to want that. Okay. Next is broad spectrum, which is really full spectrum with just a little bit, like take out a little bit of THC. 
they'll say there's none, but that's a legal term. So if it's under a certain amount, they can say there's none in there, but there's still some in there because they can't fully take it out with all of the other terpenoids. It's impossible. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. So it's less, uh, but you're still, if you took a drug test, you will fail, okay? So just know that. Next at the store, you see CBD isolate, okay? There is no THC in it. Okay, great, cool. The downside is it will not work. CBD on its own, it won't work. It won't do a thing. So this is what Young Living does. They use a CBD isolate, which doesn't work, <laughs> and they add essential oil chemistry, terpenoids, to make it do its magic. That's called the synergy, or it's called the entourage effect. A doctor gets into it. If, you want, if you're interested in, we have some of his videos, a doctor really gets into this. We're giving you the cliff notes of what he's talking about. So basically, I'll give you an example. Let's say I want to move something really heavy up the stairs. On my own, I can't do it. But let's say I call up Chris and Rochelle and a few friends, all of us together can take it up the stairs. So that's what synergy is. Now we can do something that on my own, I am not able to accomplish. So that synergy or the entourage effect, okay? So now CBD is gonna work, okay? So now remember I said, I did say that the hemp plant does produce a little bit of THC. But with Young Living, because we use a CBD isolate, we could completely remove the THC. That is one of the reasons why it's important to know the source of the CBD product you're buying from. That's one of the reasons. You want to absolutely know if this THC or not in there. And so with Young Living, guaranteed, um, actually with each bottle, I'll have the bottle. Of course, I have a bottle in front of me. There's like a code on it. You can actually scan it. It will give you all of your reports on that exact product. Um, Young Living grows their own CBD. So again, now we we're talking to growing practices. This is, this is kind of crazy because with CBD, it is a bioaccumulator. When you plant CBD in the ground, it will suck up anything, good or bad, <laughs> in, in that soil. And so that's sort of the bad thing because if the soil is not pure, clean, truly organic, no heavy metals, then maybe they're using some nasty water on there, it's all going to be in the finished product. So a product you're buying to support health is now going to damage your health. So that's important to know. Young Living is actually the first hemp farm in the United States to have two organic certifications. Uh, again, there's no THC, there's no pesticides, heavy metals, solvents, anything like that. So it's a, it's a company that you can really trust if you're looking into, you want CBD, okay? It's also third-party verified by Green Science um, Labs. And again, Young Living is one of the only companies that's actually working with the FDA. So we have to go by FDA rules. That's why I can't say certain things. We're not allowed to use medical terminology when it comes to that. So we have to be really careful because we're working with the FDA on this, okay? Um, how is Young Living, how do we extract it? It's a, we use, it's a super critical CO2 extraction, which is the best and the most expensive. So again, when it comes to Young Living, money's no object. If it's the best, they're gonna do it. Other companies, um, they may use a chemical called hexane to extract, that's garbage. Um, it's gonna destroy all the beneficial properties and that poisonous chemical hexane will be in your product. So again, you wanna make sure you know the company. Young Living is uh, very reputable, it's a trusted company. Here's the thing, NBC6 uh, did like a, you know, one of their new, what do you call it? I don't know, investigative things where they went to stores and they were getting CBD at the store and they found that over 50% of the CBD oils they tested had less than half the amount of CBD advertised on the label. Uh, at the same time, they found that even they said there was no THC, there was THC. They found there was heavy metals and pesticides. So they did like a whole expo on that. You can even type it into Google. It's called fake CBD oils. Um, some people are growing it and it's distilling it and harvesting it in the garage. It's it's kind of it's kind of sketchy because <laughs> it's kind of almost no rules yet when it comes to CBD. It's it's kind of all loosey goosey. So you have to go to a very trusted source. So again, Young Living is that source. 
All right, so as I mentioned, we talked about CBD. What are some of the benefits? We talked about that system now. Remember the things we talked about? So CBD is great for like calming you down. It's great for your immune system when your immune system is on fire and not acting like normally. It can kind of calm, calm it down when it needs to be calmed down. Um, it's great for sleep. It's great for like sore muscles, things like that. It's great. One disclaimer I want to mention if you're on medications, you definitely want to check with your pharmacist because it's similar to like great. If, you, if your medication says don't take with grapefruit juice, then you probably don't, you probably can't take CBD. So CBD is a CYP450 enzyme inhibitor. It can alter the metabolism of some medications. In other words, it will keep the medicine at a higher dose in your body, which is not good. So just know that you might want to check with your pharmacist on that. So um and that's all I have. I think Rochelle's going to get into, we have the, the beauty boost, which I absolutely love. And after the class, we have some, um, we have some graphics and things that we just, we're not going to share right now, but later, if you have questions, we'll go into that. So am I turning it over to Rochelle? I'm going to turn it over to her for the beauty part. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit to what you said to understand just some basics of CBD before Rochelle talks a lot about the beauty boost. So I just want to share you share some graphics with you all. How is CBD different than marijuana? So let me go ahead and show you a graphic of what they look like. So here's, let me see if I can find it here. Am I showing you that graphic? Are you guys seeing that? Yeah, but it's a, it's a little chopped off, but I think they're getting the point that the left side is hemp and the other side's marijuana. It does look different. Perfect. So you can see that. So they, they are different. They are not the same plant. That's just one thing I wanted to share with you. And hemp, it's really cute about the hemp plant. These are, these are just some graphics I actually got from a Young Living class. And we actually have all the science that you all can get I have a link to a YouTube video that has the science that you all can get. But this is really cute about the hemp plant. I can see it here. Let me see where it is. I'm trying to check it out myself. But um, you can see the hemp. We can wear it. We can <laughs> we can um, use it for many different things. It's, it's hidden from you guys, huh? Yeah, Chris, I was gonna say your pictures are kind of chopped up funny. Let me see, yeah, I'm not seeing them myself. So let me see if I can find it. Here we go. There, well, that's okay. I found the first one I wanted to show you. Where is the second one that I wanted to show you? Let me stop sharing it so I can find it for you here. Um, here we go with, let me just shut some of these down so I can show you what I wanna show you. All right, the hemp plant. Okay, that one I've showed you, and this is just really cute. Oh, this was the first one that I wanted to show you. There we go. What's interesting about the hemp plant is it is a plant that can work with your body, but it can feed you, it can clothe you, house you, and of course we don't say things heal, but <laughs> That's really cute. They make rope out of it in Tanzania. There's a lot of hemp plants in Tanzania it, and it's just for rope. That's what they do. They make rope with it. So that was something else that I wanted to show you all. And here are some benefits of CBD. What are some of the benefits that they can do for the body? Well, look at just all the benefits. If you can see that there, let me see if I can find it to make sure you're looking at it. It can help your brains, your eyes, your heart, your bones, your immune system. So CBD can have some beautiful benefits on the body. That's why we're taking the time to teach you all about it. It does some amazing things for the body and it um, helps with wellness, all around wellness. Okay, how do we know that CBD is different than THC? Both of these are, like Erica was telling you about before, what are some differences between, Erica um, explained this very, very well, how THC and CBD are different. So the CBD is from a plant that is just normal. It has like the male and female going on. 
and when you get the THC like Erica explained they take all the males away and we have like two females and it goes crazy looking for the male so that's why there's so much THC in the marijuana plant and that is something that we absolutely don't want on our system we just want the benefits the good benefits for the endocannabinoid system with the CBD and we don't want the THC and Young Living makes sure in their oil that that's what we have just the CBD by itself okay I think there's another graphic or two that I wanted to show you all how do you know how much CBD is in our CBD? This is something that's very different. Um, I know you guys can't see that well because I can't see it either. Let me see if I can get it over for you. Here we go. So the, the way that we know how much CBD, it, the milligrams on it are, are per bottle. So you can divide it up into the 30 doses that would be in there, which is a pipette, and then you can figure out how much CBD. And like Erica was telling you, if you can see the little graphic that's in there, there's a code on your CBD, and it will take you right to the Nature's Ultra site, and it will tell you what are the batch tests for your batch of CBD oil, which is something you're not gonna get from anywhere else. I think Young Living is the only company that actually does that. Okay, I think that's all I had that I wanted to tell you just like the technicalities about CBD. So let's turn it over to Rochelle. Hello, everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about one of the products that uh, Young Living has by Nature's Ultra, and that is a CBD Beauty Boost. And uh, so the CBD Beauty Boost is, we actually had a little bit of a contest. Uh, I don't want to say it was last year, <clears throat> but Nature's Ultra actually produces uh, the skin oil that you can use. And you can use it a couple of different ways. In addition to your uh, current beauty regimen, or you can use it by itself. So let's take a look here and let me screen share and then I can show you if someone makes me a co-host. There we go, okay. Or just a second. All right, so just a little bit. So Young Living makes the Beauty Boost. Uh, one thing that I love about it is that it has the rose oil in it. So this was my first introduction to rose oil. And all right, let me show it to you. And that way it'll give you a visual. There we go. All right, so I'm really, can you guys see that? Yes, no, okay. All right, only because I it doesn't show it on my screen. Sorry about that. There we go, okay. So the CBD, the it comes in, uh, of course, a black a bottle. And um, the whole idea is to even out your skin tone and then reduce fine lines and wrinkles, all right? Some of the uh, ingredients, and I like always like to scroll down and show, is uh, grapeseed oil, tamenu, it's a seed oil, the cannabis, I, I knew how I pronounced this earlier, cannabidiol, is that correct? Okay, there we go. And um, rose flower oil and sunflower seed oil, as well as, um, uh, and something tocopherol. I know I'm butchering that, but um, so it's got these ingredients, right? Some of the benefits and the features, again, it's going to calm and soothe your skin. It's going to moisturize it. It's going to give you a glow. It has a little bit of, uh, you can see the gold in it. And, uh, and of course, because Young Living's name is behind it, you can trust it and it, they live behind that seed to seal. So I had a couple of videos that I wanted to share with you, and then I could entertain any questions that you might have. One of the things that I do with the Beauty Boost once I got it, I've had my bottle for over a year, and I'm going to be honest with you. So sorry. I actually gave my mom half my bottle, and I'm still using my half. Um, it gives you uh, an idea or a suggestion on the amount to use. I use half of that and I still have great coverage. So let's take a look at the video, one of the first videos. It's about 30 seconds, and both of my Young Living. 
And let me make sure. I think you muted yourself or we can't hear it. What? This happened to me the last time. So can you hear me now? We hear you, but not the video. It's, but it's, uh, okay. <laughs> nope. Oh my goodness gracious. That is not nice at all that happened to be before it didn't mary lee all right all right so here's my other and if i want to share it says i'm screen sharing so chris i know that you can see where my little cursor is going so what exactly am i doing then just push play and see if it works now it should nope i don't know <laughs> Okay, well, I will link it and just share with you. So basically, I will tell, I'll give you the highlights on this the second video. The first video, just so you know, it really just kind of gave a second highlights of the beauty boost. And that's really what I share with you. The second one go went into detail of how you would actually use the beauty, beauty boost, uh, which is you can start with uh, Young Living has. Um, the Bloom line, or you can use, if you're using the Art Skincare line, either one of those two. So you would cleanse, you would tone, and then you could moisturize and then add the Beauty Boost. Or you can skip and just do the cleanse and then the Beauty Boost. The way you would use the Beauty Boost, if you're using it with the moisturizer, you put two pumps of your moisturizer in your hand, and then a, um, I think the directions are, like, um, I can't think of, uh, three to four drops of the Beauty Boost, you mix them together, and you apply it to your face and to your neck. And then you can reap the benefits that way. That's what I do. I use the Beauty Boost by itself, like it's a, a moisturizer, so I don't have an additional moisturizer on top of that. The Beauty Boost is very heavy. It will go a long way, and that's my choice, and that's the way that I do it. So, and that's what they explain in the second video. I do apologize for that. So let's see, anyone have any questions about this particular product? Hmm. No, okay. As you can see some of those benefits, it has 0.0% of THC. And, um, and those are, that's what we don't want. We want the benefits that we get from the CBD, but what we don't want is to get high off of, you know, the products that we're using so that, you know, we might look young and dewy, but then you're running around high and that is something that um, I don't want. And I know no one in the audience wants it as well. Um, so be sure to, um, pick up the CBD. If you're on the loyalty rewards program, which I would suggest you do, the way that I got my first bottle, is I cashed in my points and that's how I got it. So I got it for free. So if you're not on loyalty rewards, get on loyalty rewards, collect those points and get free product. Thank you, Rochelle. I just want to tell you guys a little bit more about some of the other products Erica was telling you a lot about the CBD oil, where it comes from, and this is in a lot of different products, but this is just CBD oil itself. You'll notice Young Living on the label says, put it where you need it, basically. It doesn't mention internally because that is an FDA regulation. Just so you know, that's why it is that this company, Young Living, makes sure they stick by what the FDA says. There's another product that Young Living has. I got this cute little holder for it. It's also CBD, but it's called Soothe. And then there's a Calm. So if you have muscles that need some help, 
The soothe roll on is a great one to put on those muscles. If you want the benefits for your endocannabinoid system with the CBD in this little blend there called soothe. Um, Rochelle told you all about the beauty boosts. You know, the rose oil that's in here is almost $200 in itself. So this is an amazing little product. And I thought this is like Rochelle was saying, people have all kinds of amazing stories about the joint and muscle balm is what it's called, which has CBD oil in it too. This I've had for forever, but you just take the little back of your pinky nail and put it on the muscles or the area that needs help. And here's something really interesting too, how our oils are so different than any other. I just, I, would, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but this is on my table at bed at night and actually my other essential oils that I use drop on top of it. Can you see what it did to the lid? They just take care of plastic. They <laughs> get rid of the gunk. Synthetics and Young Living oils do not go together. So that is the pure quality of oils that we have. And Erica told you a little bit too. I thought it was interesting. I was watching some videos earlier and there is a video I do want to show you guys. I thought it was really interesting from Nature's Ultra. And it explains a little bit about how these products work and what they are. So let me see if I can share this with you and you can hear it because I've got the same thing going on that Rochelle did. So hopefully you all can hear this. Let me see if I can share it with you and you can hear it. Look, tell me if you can hear it. Hi, I'm Natalia with Nature's Ultra. Today we are going to be talking to some people to find out what they know about CBD. CBD has been booming across the U.S. Most people have heard about CBD, but do they actually know what it is or how it interacts with them? Today we are going to ask some people what they think they know about CBD. Cannabinoids found in the industrial hemp plant. 
Endocannabinoids are chemical compounds that bind the endocannabinoid system, or ECS system, receptors throughout your brain and body. There are over 113 known different cannabinoids found in hemp. Cannabinoid receptors are embedded in cell membranes throughout your body. Researchers have identified two cannabinoid receptors, CB1, predominantly present in the nervous system, connective tissues, gonads, glands, and organs, and CB2, predominantly found in the immune system and its associated structures. In each tissue, the cannabinoid system performs different tasks, but the goal is always the same, homeostasis. Homeostasis, in a general sense, refers to stability or balance in a system. It is the body's attempt to maintain a constant internal environment. Maintaining a stable internal environment requires constant monitoring and adjustments as conditions change. Here's an example. When we become stressed, our mind releases cortisol. Cortisol can be helpful when we need to react quickly to a dangerous situation. Fight or flight. It's important to note that while some people confuse CBD with THC, tetrahydrocannabidiol, which is also found in the cannabis plant, the two are different. CBD is not psychoactive and does not cause the euphoric side effects commonly associated with THC. That means you can use CBD products without having to worry about THC causing any sort of reaction. While CBD and THC both bind to the CB2 receptor, they interact with the CB1 receptors in different ways. Because of its molecular structure, THC is able to bind directly with CB1 receptors. When the bond is formed, the reaction creates signals that are sent to the brain, which results in the psychoactive effects of getting high. Research shows that CBD does not bond directly with CB1 receptors, and its presence can even negate the bond between THC and the CB1 receptors, effectively neutralizing the psychoactive effects induced by THC. CBD is considered generally well tolerated with a good safety profile, according to a 2018 World Health Organization report. Companies in the CBD industry often lack quality control and don't know their sources. This is why getting your CBD from a trusted source with high quality control is important. We have one of the best quality control systems in the industry. We'll be covering this topic in more depth later on in CBD 101. Thank you so much for watching CBD. So that gives you a big idea <laughs> of some of the science behind the CBD oil and why Young Living is so different. So now what we're going to do, I just want to say one more thing when I was doing some of my research today that they mentioned again and again that if you get CBD oil and you use it once and you don't notice anything, that does not mean that it's not going to work on your system. That they recommend that you use it constantly for a month to get the full effects, at least two weeks, they said, to get full effects. That's just something else I want to add. So now we're going to say goodbye to our friends on Facebook and have some fun here on Zoom. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us.